Hello, welcome back to my channel. Um, I am really sorry that it took so long to get this video to you guys, but like I explain in the video to come, uh, we've been out of town and like, it's just life's been life. So thank you for being patient. This is gonna be two ways to wave your hair. Um, since my hair's short, I guess I could say it's best for short hair, but honestly, the techniques you can use on pretty much any length hair uh, may turn out a little differently, of course. Like mine's pretty, um, gets pretty bouncy because it doesn't have a lot of length or a lot of weight to pull it down. Whereas if you have longer hair, it may be a little more collapsed or a little more, um, like less uh, voluminous. So, Keep that in mind, and um, if you have longer hair, you may also need a bigger curling iron. I use a one and a quarter inch in this first video, and you may wanna do like one and a half, probably not bigger than that though, unless you really only want like a little soft wave. I hope you like it. I had to film it on two different days. Well now, this is a third different day because I forgot to film an intro video, like usual. So um, the first portion of the video is using a curling iron for waves. The second portion of the video is using a flat iron for a really fun, kind of flippy, tousled, lived in, wavy look. I hope you like it. Okay, thanks so much. And subscribe and like if you want. That'd be cool because I only have six subscribers, and it'd be nice for more people to watch these videos if they want to. So share it with your friends, and um, tag me in your posts if you end up trying these techniques, because I'd love to see that. Without further ado, the video. Hello, okay, two ways to wave. Uh, probably preferably short hair since that's what I have, but these techniques can definitely be used on multiple lengths of hair, short to long. Um, I've been curling my hair this way since it was probably close to like chin length, so really you could use it for any length. Um, I am going to, so this first part of the video is going to be using my Babyliss one and I think a quarter inch iron. Um, it's a spring iron, so um, you all will know how to use that. My fellow hairstylists probably do know how to use a Marcel, but that's not super user friendly. So um, I'm not gonna use that for you guys. I have prepped my hair with some of my favorite Unite products. So before, when I got out of the shower, I added some U oil, just a little pump of that with a little bit of our new Boost of Thickening Cream. And then I also sprayed boost a spray up at the root to give it a little more um, volume and lift. And that I believe is it. Then I just blow dried it, nothing fancy. If you've seen my, if you're following me on Instagram, then you've seen my U YouTube video, <laughs> my Instagram video of how I use, how I blow dry in my thickening products and my favorite and what my favorite thickening products are from Unite. So, Anyway, without further ado, I will begin. So what I usually do, because I'm usually trying to do this super quick, kind of like today, I have 10 minutes. So um, I just, just above the ear, I kind of part the hair off. And my hair is not very thick, so that's part of why this doesn't take me very long. So keep that in mind. I only need about three uh, sections. I'm going to use my seven seconds glossing spray. I'm just gonna spray it lightly all over and then I'm just going to comb it through. Gives it extra shine and a little extra heat protect which we could all use. You're going to start with this section in front of the ear. I like to start away from the face. So I'm gonna go about an inch and a half away from the root, clamp it down, and then start to turn, but never go all the way up to the root and just very gently release a little bit of hair at a time. And you also wanna keep out the end there, okay? So see how bouncy that is? No thanks. So go ahead and just pull it. And then I take um, probably about an inch wide, and then depending on how thick your hair is, you know, you can go wider um, this way, 
So my section is probably about an inch wide in either direction. Um, and again, you're gonna start kind of halfway down, clamp, and then you do not wanna go all the way up to the root. And so I'm just releasing a little bit of that tension. And then as I release, it's like you're kind of tugging at the ends. Does that make sense? So then I, I'll go through and I'll pull that one too. See? So the ends stay kind of straight. You're not gonna curl all the way around. That's gonna be the biggest difference between like a wavy look or a more modern curly hair look versus like, I don't know, like a 2001 look. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna curl forward. So I'm gonna clamp it in the same area there, about an inch and a half away from the root. Let it sit, and then as I pull down, don't release all the way, just pull that bottom piece down. Okay, that one got a little curly. Oh well. All right, and so like I really can't see the back, and I'm just going to clamp it down do a one turn, another turn as I'm releasing it just slightly so the ends are out, it's not all the way up to the root, and then pull it down. Next section, it's a little bit big. Ooh, okay. For this one, this gets a little tricky. So basically, you wanna mirror what you've done on each side, okay? So you're gonna hold this out, you're gonna come underneath, and then very gently, Curl away from the head. See? Mirror. I hope that makes sense. So come in and curl away. Okay. Pull. And then I think I see, okay, here's one and we're gonna curl this section toward oh god oh god I can't, <laughs> I can't see very well there we go oops wrong way there okay i feel like there's an easier way to do that but whatever basically i you alternate forward backwards forward backwards i do two away from the face and then i go toward the face away toward away toward does that make sense Okay, and I think we have one more back here. So we're going to clamp that, twist that. And you know, it doesn't have to be perfect back here, you guys, because especially if your hair is not very layered in the back, your hair's gonna fall on top of the back and you're not really gonna be able to see this first layer. So don't get too stressed out. So bring that down, take about half of it down. So for this section, I'm going to start, I'm gonna curl this first section toward the face and then back, toward, back, toward, toward, back, toward, back, okay? Okay, okay, so here we go. And you always wanna keep the same angle, you know, don't go all the way to the root, keep the ends out, blah, 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 all that jazz, pull it out. Pull, 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 pull. Okay. And then this one. Same. We're going to go backwards. You know, and I'm just on the cusp probably of being able to use like a one and a half inch iron because my hair you know, now that all the layers have pretty much grown out, it's um, probably long enough to be able to do that. But I, and I have tried it a couple times, but I just can't get it to wear or last more than, I don't know, like a day, a day and a half, because it starts like flipping out and stuff. Um, so if you have more of a lob length where it's like, it's touching your collarbone or even really touching your shoulders. Um, you can probably get away with using a bigger iron and then you'll have an even more wavy effect as opposed to like, you know, curled. Ugh, garbage, truck, 
killing my vibe. It's fine, it's fine. I don't remember if I'm supposed to go forward on that one. Oh well. Oh well. And I totally forgot to use my glossing spray on that section. You guys, I should not be tutorializing you right now. I'm going to take this front section here. Okay, now this is kind of the tricky part. So most people don't really like it super curly around their face. So I'm going to start even lower, like a little more than halfway down. Curl it. And then I'm not really going to curl it anymore. I'm going to start releasing it. And then I'm going to pull. Okay? So it's just like a little curl. Just a little. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to kind of start splitting things vertically. And I'm going to go backwards again because I like the front to go away from the face. And I'm not going to hold it as long. I'm not going to go all the way through the ends because I like it a little more lived in, I guess is what you could say. So like this one, you know, I'm going to go and then pull it out. So same thing, this front section, you're gonna come in about halfway and then start bringing it out and pull. See? All right, ta-da. So you're just gonna wait for it to cool ever so slightly, like a couple minutes. Um, I'll spritz it one last time with my glossing spray and then I will probably comb it out. I don't know. Maybe I'll toss it. We'll see. Oh, did I get that? Let's see. Oh. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yes. Okay. So I'm going to add a little expanded dust into like my root area. It gives it a little bit more pizzazz, you know, I just love pizzazz. La. Ooh, that might've been a lot. Hmm? I think I'm running low, running low, running low. Okay, and now I'm gonna take a little bit of my second day cream, but just a little bit, don't need a lot. Run it through the ends. I'm gonna kind of scrunch it in, and then very lightly down the top, just to get rid of those flyaways. And then, if you want, you know, you can kind of flip it around, play with the part. But I've been liking it down the middle. It's just easy, you know. Doesn't get in my way. There we go. Super easy, what did that take? 10 minutes? Hello, so part two of my waving video. Um, I am going to use my flat iron. This is my Unite iron, which um, I just got, I don't know, a few months ago, but I love it. And this is a really, um, it's a fun technique. It's definitely, I would say, a little bit advanced, I don't know. I wouldn't, maybe not, I don't know. Um, for some people, like it took me a minute to kind of get a, the hang of it because I'm gonna do two different motions with um, with the flat iron. So there's gonna be kind of like an actual waving technique, like, um, uh, sorry, I'm like having trouble. A, um, almost like a crimp, but not a crimp, like a wave. And then there's gonna be like a curl wave. So I'll show you what I usually do. And I find myself going back to this technique quite a bit because for some reason, um, I don't know if it's because this maybe gets hot, more hot than, or hotter than my um, curling iron. It seems like I can wear my hair longer before it needs to be washed when I do it this way. I don't know why. So anyway, um, 
okay. I have it on like the lowest setting because my hair is fine and it's um, colored. So if your hair is super thick or coarse or you also need to like smooth it while you're curling, I would maybe go up a notch. Like right now I have it on 390. Um, it goes up to 450. So hot. Um, but if you have like coarser hair, I would maybe go to 420, but probably not more than that because you don't want to fry your hair. I'm going to do the same sectioning that I did with, um, that I showed you just before this. Um, and then, so this, so I'm going to just do it and you can watch it because what I'm going to do is I'm going to clamp the hair down again, about half an inch away from the scalp and I'm going to rotate it back and forth like this, like full wrist action. Um, and I try to make sure the end flips out instead of under, cause it looks kind of funny when it's under, but you know, it's no big deal. Cause it's all gonna like be messy together. So here we go. Okay. See? Ooh. And then I also pull it just because my hair is so um, fine that it does bounce up really easily and I don't want it too big. We're not trying to go for like 80 style here. Okay, so now this one I'm going to curl away from the face. So it's like you're using a curling iron. You're gonna clamp it in and then twist and just keep twisting. See? Bong. And then sometimes with these ones I go back over the ends. I usually go back over the ends like toward when I'm all finished. Ooh, that one's very bouncy. Hmm, I don't know about that. Okay, that's better. And then I just alternate all the way around my head. You know, you can just, you practice it once or twice and then you realize more about it. And, uh, oopsie, left that guy out. And you can make it more intense by really twisting and twisting and twisting. I would say if you had longer hair, um, you could get away with really, um, you know, flicking the wrist back and forth. But since my hair is short, and again, we're not going for an 80s style here. And for this, I'm going to start, you know, in the front and I'm going to now use the curling method away from my face for these front sections. Okay. Woo, buddy. And this is also nice because you can, I usually do it to a, a middle part. Um, so that I can flip flop it from side to side. And this technique looks really pretty flip flopped from side to side. Ooh, I don't like the end on that one. but it still is like, gets a little fluffy. Okay. Ooh, that's a ringlet. That's better. Okay. Okay, so this piece right here, I'll crimp wave. And these pieces are a little bit longer, so you can kind of get away with more crimpy action. Okay. Now, if you don't really want to try the little crimpy wave thing, you can totally just do your whole head regular just, you know, twisty waves. Um, this is just how 
I've really been liking it because it gives it a little more like kind of undone texture, which I love. And because I already showed you guys how to do a more uniform wave with the um, curling iron. So it's basically the same, you know, concept. It's just you have to make sure you've got the right action going with your flat iron. It's actually kind of tricky. It took me a while to figure it out. Don't do this before you're going out or something like that. Try like practice this on, you know, a Sunday morning or something. <laughs> this front piece, we're gonna curl away from the face similar to what we did with the curling iron. I'm gonna start a little further down and I'm not gonna go all the way to the ends. I'm gonna kind of pull it out. Um, so maybe like one twist, one and a half maybe, let's see. Let's see, apparently I like to sing while I'm doing these videos. See, it actually looks really similar to the curling iron. Okay, and then pull that down. I can't wait to get my hair done, by the way. I'm getting it done on Monday, which might be <laughs> before I even post this video. Oh man, I'm really sorry that it's like taking so long to get this done. But, ooh, that was a good one, a good one, good one. Um, but it's just, you know, we've been out of town, like we went camping last weekend, and we're gonna be in Tahoe this weekend. So, it's just been like a lot. Okay. It's all good stuff. I'm happy to do the things I'm doing, of course. I get to see one of my longest, most wonderful friends ever this weekend in Tahoe for her baby shower and I'm very, very excited about it. Okay, I'm doing something real tricky, guys. I really want this to match this side. I remember what I said about the curling iron, that it has to match angles. So I'm going in left-handed. Pray, just hope for the best, guys. Oh no, oh no, oh, 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 wasn't too bad. Not too bad, not too bad but it's tricky, that part's really tricky. I wish I had advice on how to do it, but literally you just have to practice. <laughs> okay, and this one's gonna go back also. Okay, that did not work out. Dang it. Okay, we're gonna try it again. I'm gonna just let it cool so it doesn't fry off. Okay. Okay, here we go. There's probably a little bit too much hair, but oh well. Okay, oopsie. Okay, there we go. That's better. That's definitely better. Okay, let's see, are there any other pieces back here? Nope, don't think so. So I'm gonna just crimpy this little guy And kind of go in. Get the ends. And let it cool. Oh, I am going to use, what am I gonna use? Maybe some texturizing spray. So texturizer, one of my faves and glossing spray, of course. So I'm gonna hit it with glossing spray first. Give it a little shine. Hit it with some texturizing spray. And then just kinda I have no idea, ooh, what the back looks like, hopefully. It's all right. And then, you know, I love me some expanded dust. Anything that plumps it up more. I mean, especially when you have, you know, not a lot of hair. See? Oh, it's so good. It's so good. Happy, fun, big hair. Thank you for watching this, by the way, because, like, clearly, I'm kind of a weirdo. So, 
Just mute it maybe if you don't want to listen to me talk because I get it. Okay, there we go. It's not like crazy different, it's really not, but it definitely gives it a little more texture, a little more flip. Um, you know, it's not, it's more, you can see more like waves rather than curls. I hope that makes sense. And I hope you try it. If you try either of these, especially this one, since you know, like I said, it's a little bit advanced, a um, little bit tricky, let me know comment on this video or you can find me on Instagram and tag me. Um, I would love to see that. I think that'd be fun. So um, anyway, that's it. Two ways to wave. Uh, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Um, please subscribe if you want to see more. Love you guys.